Greetings, noble viewer. This is episode two of Chris Plays Pokemon. Last episode, we spoke to Professor Oak. Pokemon around the world wait for you, Chris, who gave me a Pokedex, which allows me to catch all of the Pokemon. There's an email message here. Calling all Pokemon trainers. The elite trainers of Pokemon League are ready to take on all comers. Bring your best Pokemon and see how you rate as a trainer. Pokemon League HQ, Indigo Plateau. P.S. Prof Oak, please visit us. Dot, dot, dot. It's very needy. How odd. Uh, on there, the table, there is the other Pokemon that was not selected. That would be a Squirtle. Prof Oak is the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him in high regard. Yeah. Oh, well, they did. Now he's crazy. So, um, we're in Pallet Town. Shades of your journey await. Get that? Shades, because colour. Very funny. Very, very clever. Okay, um, we're back on Route 1. We are walking to Viridian City again, which is where we were when we had to pick up a package and take it back to Oak, in case you're brand new to the series, which I imagine most of you are not. This is Plantasaurus Rex, who is going to now destroy a Pidgey for you, for your entertainment. You're welcome. Or die. Hopefully not die. Man, that'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Yeesh. Now we got this. Easy, 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 easy. Bring it on, Pidgey. I could take this all day, but not. Please don't bring any more. Thank you. Yeah, you have to thank people when they die for you. It's just common courtesy, really. Our special is still our highest stat. That's very good to see. Ooh, now we have a grass type attack, which means our special is actually going to be a relevant statistic. How exciting. I just walked into a ledge. That dude has green hair. Maybe he's trying to be camouflaged. Who knows? Okie dokie. So, as I said earlier, this is a Viridian City, which I believe it will say on this sign, in case you don't believe me. The eternally green paradise. So, first thing we should do is heal our little Bulbasaur, Plantasaurus Rex because otherwise he'll die, and that would just be sad, and such. After that, let's grab some Pokeballs and start our collection. We currently have one in our Pokedex. I think we've seen probably four, because of Rattata, Pidgey, Squirtle, not Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. How close to accurate am I? Seen four, own one. There we go, wonderful. Okay, so, we're gonna need some Pokeballs so that we can catch more. Gotta catch them all, don't you know? Um, as noted earlier, there are no potions in this shop, which is quite inconvenient. So we'll just have to stock up on Pokeballs, because don't really want anything else. Fifteen! Yes. Always has to be a multiple of five. If I ever use any, I have to then round it back up to a multiple of five. I am an insane person, in case you haven't realised. I mean, I'm sat here talking to myself while playing a video game, so that should have been a clue. I don't remember if we went this way last time, but I don't think we did. There is a secret potion hidden in that tree, which one day we will be able to cut. Not that that would be necessary, because obviously we can get from both sides to it. I don't know why I said that sentence like Yoda. Cool. So, in here we're hoping to catch a Nidoran male. It is one of my favourite Pokemon, and, uh, well, Nido King is. And also it's very strong against the first gym, if we get the right things. Although so is Platosaurus Rex. Usually I don't have him, so actually I might not need to catch any other things. Obviously I will, I need the Pokedex, but you know, I'll probably do okay in battle too, which is nice. Um, I'm actually going to switch around some of these attacks, because otherwise I'm going to accidentally hit things that I don't want to hit, and that's no fun. Brilliant. That might not have been the best way to do that. So Leech Seed is a really cool attack, because every turn it will... Oh no, no, my mistake. Yes, there we are. Phew. I second guess myself. Every turn it's going to sap his health while I'm also doing other attacks. So even though I missed that attack, I'm still going to take some health off of him and give it back to myself in case that wasn't clear last time that happened. Very cool. I only get 10 of them though, so I'm going to have to go to the Pokemon Center quite regularly or I'm going to run out of them. I don't know what PP stands for, but that's what that represents. Um, 
point points, I don't know. But if you see, um, oh it doesn't even say PP, but the 32 out of 35, I now have 32 tackles left that I can use, and 9 leech seeds, so let's use one of those. Do I want a Rattata? I guess I do. I need to complete the Pokedex after all. That is one of the Pokemon. Did I already leech seed him? I didn't think I... Oh, okay, I just did it. I am insane. Cool. Never mind. Ignore my madness. Things are quite easy with Bulbasaur, because he heals himself over time, essentially. That's nice. Gonna be difficult once I get to somewhere fiery, but that doesn't really exist, except for Cinnabar Island, which is a long way away. And by then, hopefully I'll have more than one Pokemon. Hopefully. But not if I keep killing them instead of catching them. I want a Nidoran. Come on, Nidoran. Show yourself. Nope. Rattata. Brilliant. Classic. Those of you who have never played, it's better to catch Pokemon at level 2 and train them yourself. They get more experience that way than if they were wild and at a high level. So, I might be catching a level 2 eventually, but this one's probably too weak to survive a critical hit. There we go. Plantasaurus Rex grew to level 8. And special is going up. Lovely. Okay, Nidoran, 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 Nidoran. Yes! Okay, this is the one we want. Nidoran male. Uh, ooh, Leech Seed is risky because it might kill him if my Pokeball misses. But I am low on health and if I die I'm definitely not going to be able to catch him. Well, never mind. That was all irrelevant. Will he always evade that attack? No, good. Okay. Hey, be nice. Actually, I guess that's okay. At least you're not attacking me. Carry on. Okay, this is risky. I guess I should probably just growl at him so his attack goes down, and then I can keep sapping away his health rather than risking another tackle which might kill him. I definitely want to catch this guy, so um, this might take a little longer than it should, but once he gets into the red, I'm, I'm going to take him. Maybe even before that, once he gets past that four. Come on, hurry up. Uh, one more, one more. I don't want to waste my Pokeballs, especially if I'm trying to catch 150 things. Now, now oh, what is going on? I am derping. Pokeball. You guys can't see the keyboard, but I have this technique that I've been using since I was a kid that has been proven not to work, but I still don't know how to stop myself. It's a habit. I hold down B as soon as the ball is thrown, and then hold down A as soon as the ball closes, and it's not fail-proof, uh, fail flawless, both, either. Yes, I'm going to call him Odin. Um, if you guys have seen my Facebook page, I gave reasons for that. I was hoping lots of people would suggest usernames, nicknames, but no one did. So, we'll have to go with the ones I choose. Unless you want input, and then absolutely that will happen. Just, you know, you have to tell me, otherwise it's not going to work. It's kind of a back and forth, you know? I make you videos, you give me ideas. Brilliant. Okay, we heal him up again. We only have... About a minute of this episode left, I believe. So, what should I do in one minute? Let's do another battle. But this time, let's go this way. This is really risky, isn't it? I don't think I'm gonna live. Okay. That was a really weird breathing, I'm sorry. Okay, kill him, kill him, kill him. Race to the finish line. Yeah, we got this, we got this. save. Excellent. Goodbye, Nimble Viewer. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.